In this video, I'm going to talk about subforms and how to use subforms to enhance your application. Now, subforms are particularly useful when you have a database that has many to many relationships or many to one relationships between two tables and you want to represent that in a form. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and create a form that has a, a parent form and a, a child form or a subform that uses the parent child relationship to uh, create some sort of a drill down or hierarchical effect. We're going to start off by creating our main form or our parent form here. And I've created a new or designing a new form here, and I'm going to uh, set the properties. I'm going to set the data source to read off of employees. And I just basically need employee ID, last name, first name, and title. This is fine. And close this out. Yes, I want to save this. And then close this out. Now I've got a list of fields. So now I can bring in employee ID and title. And then I want to create a text box here that incorporates or, or um, brings together last name and first name since it's split out in my database. So I'll just, uh, right here, I'll just put equals last name, ampersand, comma, um, space, ampersand, and then first name. Okay, let's go ahead and format this. Okay, so I formatted this and now I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that my data is not enabled and locked. Yes, that way no one can change this information. And finally in the uh, properties, we're going to go ahead and set allow additions to no, uh, scroll bars, both is fine, record selectors no, navigation buttons yes, we want to keep that, dividing the lines no, and auto center yes, so that's fine. So now I can go ahead and save this form and I'll save it as main form and let's open up main form and talk about what we're going to do here. We've in effect created a form that shows all the employees in our employee table and what I want to do is I want to be able to see the orders that were put in by each employee as I kind of scroll through these employees in the form. And the problem is that I've got a database that has employees in a separate table and the orders in a separate table and the only thing that links employees to orders is the employee ID. Now, from a database normalization standpoint, this is fine. This is exactly how access should work. You have a relational database that splits out your data in logical groups. So employees and orders, great. So now what I want to do is I want to be able to represent that grouping or that relationship uh, in that form. So what I'm going to do here is I've got the employees part done. I've got a form that represents the employees table. Now I want to create a form that represents the orders. So I'll go ahead and click on Forms, New, Design View, and I'll go to the properties of this new form and set the record source to Orders. Now from here, there's only one required field, and that's the Employee ID, because this is going to be the field that I'm going to use to link to the employee form or the employee's table. So this is absolutely important that I get this unique, uh, unique field so I can do the, the linking I need to do. And then order ID is the uh, other field I'll need, and order date is basically finishes off what I need for this form. And close this out. Okay, at this point, I can make this form look any way I want. I can make it a standard kind of looking form, or I can make it a continuous form. Uh, but for subforms, you normally would want to make it into some sort of a data sheet view. And I'll show you what that means here in a second. I'm going to close out this form, and I named it subform1, and I'm going to go ahead and do design properties and I'm going to say the default view is not a single form but a data sheet and what that does is when you open it up it looks like a data sheet almost like a table and this is going to make sense when you see it in the uh, the other form so at this point I have main form and sub form and so now I want to go to main form and design that and go to my toolbox and select this selection sub form sub report and then I'll click on that and then drag a new subform here. Now when you drag it here you're going to find that the, the subform wizard opens up. And when the subform wizard opens up it's going to ask you what do you want to use. You want to use an existing form here so subform 1 is fine. When you hit next it's going to say either choose from a list of um, parent child links or define my own. I'm going to define my own and so now this is where I can link the two forms. I can say employee ID to employee ID. The employee ID is going to be the unique identifiers between the two forms that are going to link the forms and make sure that I have the correct information for the correct employee. And I'll hit next and what would I like to name the subform? Subform 1 is fine and hit finish. Okay. So let's go ahead and play this form see how it looks. 
All right, so I have employee ID 3 here, which is Janet Leverling, and this particular uh, subform shows employee ID 3 and uh, all the orders that Janet put in. Now, here's a couple things. One thing is the employee ID is listed again here. I don't need that employee ID listed again. I just really want order ID and order date. Uh, also, this navigation um, toolbar here is a little confusing because I'm not sure which one to use. I've got a subform navigation toolbar and a record form or record or the main form navigation toolbar. I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of adjustments. I'll go ahead and go to subform, hit design, go to properties, all, and I'm going to set a couple of properties for this particular form. Now the subform here uh, has navigation buttons. I'm going to say navigation, no, record selectors, uh, yes, Dividing lines, no. Auto center, yes. And that should be it. And also, I'm going to get rid of this employee um, text box because we don't really need to see the employee ID in the sub form because we already see it in the main form. So now, when I open up the main form, I'll have a nice clean view here. And order ID and order date is what I need. And then I only have one navigation toolbar, and I can kind of go through and see all the orders for Janet. Go to the next one. All the orders for Margaret. Go to the next one so on and so forth. 